Hey guys, welcome to my latest episode of Unranked to Diamond. Unfortunately, a glitch happened at the start of the game, so only some of the laning phase will be shown in this match. But let me promise you and assure you, this game had some exciting Gassadin gameplay. Without further ado, let's get right into the One video. One second, let me see. Oh, dang. Yeah, it is. My bad. I forgot I changed my... Oh, that's actually not good. Mistakes are made. Let me see. It should be... Thanks for letting me know. Oh, man, that's embarrassing. There we go. That should be... I think it should be fixed now. There we go. Is that looking a little better? Ah, perfect. Thanks so much. Appreciate that. I actually hadn't streamed in a while, so I got a new monitor that was uh, a better resolution. So it was uh, probably adapting to my old resolution there. Ah, you're the best, man. You and my boy Tanner. There we go. We can go in and take some trades here. I'm not sure what that J4 is doing, but he's Nolan Void, that's for sure. No flash mid. Hey Trixie, how are you? Nah, you're the best, man. All right, I remember it, dude. I remember who you are. Don't you worry. I don't forget. That's one of my better qualities. Oh yeah. So she was just playing too far up. She's just letting me beat her up. Breaking her legs there. Oh, forced Nick Knight. Easy. Gonna go kite back up top so we can avoid the J4. I actually think I can duel him if I play it right. There we go. We can get some of these turret plates here too. Well, this game's not going to be too interesting. Bot's already winning by default. Really? I, I'm, I find it hard to believe people are saying that one tricking Vlad's bad. I think he's really good right now. The only issue I would say with one tricking Vlad is he's banned a lot, but like... If you can get him through, he's a really good champ. Gonna back here, reset, and pick up a Rod of Ages and some boots. Some more pink words. Oh, frig, I missed it. Oh, well. At least I still have one. Yo, that's awesome, dude. No, oh, I think he's really good. I actually was playing him earlier today. What rank are you right now in the mid lane? Yeah, I'm not too good at Vlad, but I really like the champ. I think he's got a lot of potential. I'm all right at it. Oh, Platinum. That's still really good. Uh, yeah, some of the... A really big thing is lane control in mid lane is what I noticed. You can actually deny so many people a lot of CS. Uh oh, this Master Yi is mad at me. Oh, 
Oh, he's not mad at me. He's just saying good luck because they lane swapped. I'm gonna see if I can roam down here, bot. Ooh, they lost pretty hard. What the heck? Never mind. Yeah, slow pushes help a lot. Like if you can get if you can get their wave slow pushing into yours, you can just freeze and let it lose and then they lose so much CS from it. Hey, this is actually maybe a good trade because he's still losing. Oh, I have to watch out for that J4. Actually, I think I'm gonna get styled on here to be honest. Ah. Yeah, if I get an opportunity, I'll show you what I mean. It's really good when they back to set that up. Alright, well this game's about to get a bit more interesting now, maybe. That's one of the things you have to focus on. I find lane management is huge. Another good thing... What really makes like really really high elo players so if you can master this you'll be popping off oh here we go got him he misplayed hard so i was lucky there he actually probably could have killed me yeah they swapped they were this diana was having enough of playing versus me but it didn't work out for them but yeah that's that's really big then macro play is huge that's one of the things I advocate the biggest. If you can get master the macro play, you can do so much in games. I appreciate you, Cass. I appreciate you too, Kaisa. I'll tell him. There we go. Yeah, dude. Easy money. Hey, and they're popping off down there still. I don't like that 650 gold bounty I have, though. Figured she may be there. I have a. Actually, I was playing. Some of my videos discuss a little bit of macro play. I think it's been a while since I watched my tips and tricks video for season nine, but. I try to discuss a lot of things in there that more like high elo players do because one of the big problems I notice of like tips and tricks videos for climbing in solo queue is they just say the same things over and over again like I have a little bit of overlap there but I try to do some new tips that focus more on the macro play and like key things that people don't actually do like high elo tips for climbing because like there's like low elo tips that will get you to like gold or plat but I found these tips are the ones that can get you to diamond master or challenger. So I tried to switch it up. Maybe you could check out that one and maybe it'll help you out. Yeah, we have a huge CS lead over everyone in this game. Almost perfect CS right now. Oh, your goal is master? Yeah, you can do it, man. Especially if you perfect that macro play, it's so huge. Here we go. I think the Kali's dead here. Let's play, play it slow. Ooh, I actually messed up. It's fine. Or is it? Ah, not like this. Yeah, the biggest thing I think to get macros, or <laughs> to get master. Holy, I was talking so much about macro play. To get master is to work on that macro play and so many pro players would agree if you on that like your mechanics are probably just fine so if you get that macro play going you're gonna pop off man i think yeah yeah dude vlad's like always bend actually that was happening to me if cassidy for a bit I think the best thing that could happen to you is he would get nerfed a little bit, just a little bit, so you can start playing him a bit more. I don't really think he's that overpowered though. I think he's very good, but he's just hard to be able to play because he's always been.
Yeah, the same thing was happening to me of Kasten a little while ago. Luckily, he got a little bit nerfed. Or just, I don't, he got like indirect nerfs rather. And then like other characters were more strong and started getting banned instead. I like, I find that I like Vladimir because he feels kind of similar to Cassidy. Have you tried playing any Cassidy? Like both of us scale hella hard. I was looking at Vladimir's win rate curves today and he gets like 58% and 57, 58% in 40 minutes plus. Oh, let's see if we can get to the ski fight here. Ooh, they're already getting marked. Never mind. Maybe I can pick someone up. Uh oh. Cutting back. Gotta dodge that. Yeah, I found that they were similar styles. Ooh, what's happening here? Sorry, one moment. There we go. We got one. There we go. Oh, I don't have enough mana to finish this up. Yeah, they have similar styles where you can... I mean, I find that Vladimir has a little bit of a er better early game than Cass, because you can like actually merc people in lane like with the cheese. But they have similar styles where they get really strong later on in the game. And they're like point and click champs too, like I found the Q on Vlad was similar to the Q on Cass. I've been enjoying playing him and he has a nice escape with his pool. Almost got this fully charged and it's gonna be GG I think. Yeah, I'd recommend giving him a try. I have lots of uh, videos on some matchup guides that talk about some tips and tricks of him. And I have an older video that has a, a lot of things I recommend to getting good of Cassidy too. It's called, I think, How to Play Cassidy Like the Emperor. Oh, here we go. This is going to be huge. There we go, easy. Yo, I got a little too into that play. Yeah, then you'll have a, like another solid pick. Another champ I like is the new Kale, but I find she's a little more different than Vlad. Yeah, I talk a little bit of items in some of the matchups too, like how you can change up your standard builds. Most players are going right now Rod of Ages, then like the tier build of Archangels, and then you can go whatever you want for your third item, depending what you need. Yeah, you're similar to me. I'm I'm a very big late game player. My philosophy was get good on a champ that's really weak early and has a good late game, because if you can get good and win early on those champs, you should win the game for sure. Ooh, I'm gonna cancel my back here. Looks like stuff's about to fly. Here we go. Nice, she's dead. Playing this slow. Gotta play this super slow. Here we go. Oh. Nice. Use that uh, hourglass there. Hey, and we're flexing on them. Uh, let's see, sorry, where was I? Yeah, Zoe's also really good. She's hard to play correctly, but in the right hand, she's like so good. That's why even Dopo was saying that he always wanted to ban Zoe out. Kale even says I'm clean. Nice. All right, we're sitting on 3,600 gold here. Let's. That's uh, a little greedy on me, but I needed to show up to that fight. I'm gonna get an hourglass here. That really helped me out there. 
and work it into a Lich Bane for a good single target burst. And finish up my boots. Oh, we're gonna be strong here. That's the one thing about these lower elos, it's like... <laughs> it's almost like Team Deathmatch, you just show up to the fights and just kill people. It's always fun. The gameplay will probably be a little more interesting after though. Hey, I blocked it. Hey, we've got them. We flexed on them. We showed them what the Nolan Void crew is all about. There we go. We got mid inhib off this. I gotta admit, I'm so happy positional matchmaking's gone. That stuff was not fun for an NA player. Oh no, I think I may have trolled there. Oh, actually. Maybe I'm out? No, I'm not clean. Oh, wait. Oh, run. Yo, I. <laughs> Holy cow, I almost just trolled there and. Gave them a 700 gold shutdown. Yeah, they're not too good in this elo. They just, they don't focus enough on, they only focus on fighting is the issue here. There we go, I'll TP in and we can make some plays. Finish up my Lich Bane there. Oh, I didn't even buy that blasting one, but now my Kale's in the game too. The game's already sealed for them. Oh, let's go bot and get that inhib too with the C. And then we'll just dive this guy. Easy. Alright, final step is just go top and then end the game. They're gonna respawn, so I'm not gonna greed for the end. Oh no, your internet's not so good. Is the stream lagging for you? Ooh. Don't worry, it's about to get real. Watch. Oh, frig. Actually, I still screwed up. Oh, wait, or did I? Ah, uh, sort of. Almost killed him. I wanted to flash the Leona E and stun. Which I did, but I missed them. Aw. GG, nerf your internet, man. GG, well played. Well, that's another win. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Ha, <laughs> the Thresh invited me to play. There we go, one win into Bronze 1. Or the series Bronze 1 to Silver. Hey, I'd really appreciate that, Roxas. That would be so good. If you liked the video and want to see more great content, here are some other videos I think you may like.